Well, law enforcement set up an undercover prostitution sting operation, taking aim at the users of a website called Backpage.com. In all, 22 men were arrested and charged with soliciting sex. Police say the men were using that website to answer to ads to pay for sex. Now we're looking at a woman recently killed in Providence and her connection to that website. Eyewitness News reporter Perry Russum has the details from the mobile newsroom in Providence. The prostitution sting operation back page is still going on now. So far, police have arrested 22 men who were trying to pay for sex. The city of Providence has unveiled their latest prostitution sting operation back page, an attack on the website backpage.com and its users that solicit sex. We're seeing it more and more, particularly in Providence. In recent times, we have seen an uptick in many different type of crimes surrounding activity on Backpage. In a news conference, the mayor brought up Ashley Massey, the mother of three who was found dead in her home earlier this week. As has been reported, the uh, woman who was murdered just a couple of days ago was um, reportedly using Backpage to solicit. We asked police if there is a link between her death and this website. We are investigating all aspects of it. We're going to continue until we identify who killed this young lady and hold them accountable. So far in this three-week-old operation, Providence police have arrested about two dozen men, ranging in ages between 21 and 65 years old. I've instructed my law department to seek out all legal avenues that we can do uh, to either shut Backpage down here in our city, and our state, uh, or take the appropriate measures so that you know it can't continue to be used in this way. If you are a so-called pimp managing women for the, for the purpose of uh, procurement, for sex, for hire, <clears throat> we're coming after you. The mayor says Backpage has been contacted and he says the site is willfully and knowingly allowing their site to be used this way. In Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, Perry Russell, Eyewitness News.